y'all been tuned in, y'all know Caribou, the Concrete Boys, and Layada, they've been having some shit going on. She ain't been seen with them. It's allegedly, well, it's, I, I think it came out that she got kicked out. She left, quit one of them. But we finna see what they talking about, man. Let's let's see. And nobody would even know who the Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What the f*** are we talking about, bro? I wrote Damn. that verse when we went on on the radar after dust why would i sack under my arm sacking up a must i crushed the fucking so y'all remember that video that i made not too long oh, ago about shit. caribou leaving the concrete boys or supposedly being kicked all right and over time it hasn't been that much information released about the whole thing lil yachty went live and he talked about it of course and people just had assumptions of what they thought happened and that was it but for some reason this whole month lil yachty been getting a lot of hate okay and one of those reasons he's been getting hate the biggest reason matter of fact i'm sorry it's because he went on a podcast right he was on his podcast like he usually be and he was talking about a topic with one of his homeboys and key glock was sitting there just listening you feel me and this conversation got so deep to the point where it almost seemed like lil yachty was really just disrespecting his homeboy named mitch but what's really happening between lil yachty and mitch is that lil yachty thought it was just a joke like he didn't he claims that him and mitch were just joking it wasn't nothing crazy and when that tweet had blew up people had took it the wrong way and felt like Lil Yachty was disrespecting his closest friend, right? Throughout the live, I'm finna show y'all, right? Lil Yachty claims that he talked to Mitch and he wanted him to clarify that, hey, can you tell them that I wasn't disrespecting you? It was just a joke between me and you, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them to think that I'm just a flat out mean person or whatever, you know what I'm saying? While they was talking or whatever, Lil Yachty claims that Mitch just declined it. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to tell people that he wasn't being disrespected. So that's what really caused Lil Yachty to go on his whole rant and basically expose both of them. Mitch and Damn. Carol. But before I show the full live where Lil Yachty went off on everybody, right? There's a couple of things that made Lil Yachty want to spaz on Caribou because for some reason, somebody had brought up and tweeted out, she said, I see why Caribou left. And she replied, to that whole situation right somebody had randomly responded and they said she personally told me out her mouth they kicked her out they are off the people they were in her she didn't leave they kicked her out two trill was the only Damn. person that had her back which is why she only follows him then somebody responded she said oh my god so they was being fake towards her she says bro girl. she walked in my job red lobster to order some biscuits and i asked her why she left she immediately corrected me and said i didn't leave they kicked me out saying that they were really mean to her in her a lot and she just won't talk about it and majority of the tweet is just saying yeah. that she seemed really hurt you know what i'm saying while she was taking this picture with her and she actually shows proof and caribou seems to have like a stunned face and trying to smile you know what i'm saying even yeah, though she that, don't want to yeah, smile you feel me somebody made another tweet she said why did they do that though i feel like they were hating on her success this random girl that took this picture with caribou and that talked to her right she responded she said these dudes were just hating on her the whole time and y'all probably wondering okay how do you know that's real i mean of course she already took a picture with her right then caribou tweeted something right after this said this age well and she shows the tweet that she made a day ago that say i don't say too much because i know gonna unfold on its own and at this point things just look very suspicious not only did mitch really get just disrespected from lil yachty maybe that was just a little argument whatever maybe it's not that serious okay that's cool but then the whole caribou situation now this is coming back up you know what i'm saying of her leaving concrete it came back up now lil yachty is back in the hot seat and things are not just looking good for him so eventually lil yachty randomly went live and he just started spazzing so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all exactly what happened let's go yeah what's up people from god this whole care shit to this Mitch situation online, what y'all talking about some? Uh, Lil Yachty disrespecting his friend. I'm gonna start with care, right? Because mm. right now I'm on some everybody shit. Like, oh, oh. They didn't piss Yachty off. Yeah, he looked mad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All I ever did was help care, nigga, care. If you want to tell this tell the whole story. Ooh. How you verbally lose people, all right? Don't get I don't know who side to believe no more at this point. Like I don't know who's telling out. the truth. Like, it's kicked you out because, uh, me and you? Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. Ooh. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home? Oh, you work for me. Oh, uh, we are, uh. Security guard? What? Yeah. You ain't got no, you're poor. And, uh, we above you and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they're, like they small, Damn, like they, not like they beneath you. Mm. Bro, bro, hold on. Tell people, tell people how, tell people how this verbally nigga just lose people openly in the streets of Atlanta. Gotta be, bro. I know Atlanta. I just came from Atlanta. People how, I, I know. Tell people how 
You verbally. Atlanta parties. How you told me you gonna on me when you see me? Tell people you talk to people, bro. She was going what? Your brain is clinically empty, bro. How you disrespect people? How you how you go around treating people in your everyday life? Mm. I've been letting you do this whole thing where you act like you like a princess and you sweet and you know like oh you just such a good girl, bro. Stop the front, bro. We didn't internally we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career so he basically saying ever since caribou started she always been hostile in front of others okay what are we talking about bro what the are we what are you what the even talking about bro you don't even you do nothing know. you just, what the f yo bro no he mad it's so crazy to me bro because i i i've I given you a career mm. and time to time you just disrespect me i wrote every verse you've done I addressed you. Ooh, I dressed all five of y'all, bro. Oh my God. I dressed five every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. I put eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I okay, I don't know if this is just him having an ego or... <laughs> Let him chat, though. Let him chat. Put three chains on all y'all necks. We bought himself. a Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. And you had to bro, bring you that up, dude. You, you was watching tables. You was, you was, you was, you was waiting. Mm. What are we talking about? I changed yeah. your mother life, and you over here lying, talking about some we you. That got me up, bro. You got me up, bro. You disrespectful, bro. You talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you gonna spit on them. You, oh you tell God. people they poor, and you talk to the you talk to what? my label crazy. I ain't gonna lie, making fun of people that's poor or who ain't got it like that. That's lame. Yeah, bro. that right ain't right. cool. Hopefully, what Lil Yachty's saying isn't true, cause that's crazy. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? You claim I was stealing money from you, bro. Stealing money from you how? Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. Oof. See, this is the problem with you new artists. Y'all y'all get popping yeah. online, and then you become more popular than your actual music, right? You $900,000 in a hole, and I got every receipt. Mm. $900,000 concrete in a hole. I got every receipt. Damn, I'm going to post it. I dare you try me. Try me, I'm going to post it. And I'll post how much money your streams are made you got bro stop don't don't go on the internet and act like i'm you bro i've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and and, and took you around the world and nobody would even know who the caribou was if it wasn't for me damn. what the f are we talking i ain't gonna lie bro i ain't gonna lie it, it, damn that look like yadi did, did everything for her not only her but it, the whole concrete bro that's what that's what i'm getting from this dog that's what i'm getting from it he really didn't Damn, it's sad he gotta bring it up, dude. It's sad he gotta bring it up, but he defending himself. He defending himself. That's all he doing. He defending himself. It's like it's either defend yourself or uh, 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 keep getting bashed or uh, let let people run with their narratives, bro. He gotta defend himself and he gotta bring certain shit up to defend himself. He got to, bro. That's and 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 certain shit at the same time. Certain shit. He didn't have to say. He could have kept it at you hear me. Um, could have kept it at you disrespectful. You 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 talk to people any kind of way. He could have kept it at that. He didn't have to bring up all the extra shit. You you was a waiter. You didn't have to change it. He didn't have to do all that, bro. He didn't have to do all that. But at the same time, you can't blame a, you can't blame that man for reacting how he reacting, uh, defending himself how he is. You can't tell him how to how to defend himself. So. This whole about, situation bro. is crazy, bro. Verse when we went on on the radar. Oh, so he did write the verse. I that's knew that was a trip, and that's the verse that blew her up right there. And people been saying that, dude. That's crazy. I think he'll be lying about that. Purpose. So everyone would say, "Who the f is that girl?" I slowed the beat down. I put 808 specifically on your verse. So when it got to your part and the beat drop, everyone would be like, "Oh, the, the girl is the craziest one." Damn. So I wrote that verse the night before we even went to on the radar. On my phone, bro. I typed. I, I I got the voice. I got the reference. What the f are we talking about? You ain't never. You ain't never wrote no no a song in your life. The reference is crazy. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been left. Cause you ain't got no music. Cause you can't rap. <laughs> what are we talking about? And I wasn't gonna say nothing on my mother's oh, life. I was gonna shit. let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't gonna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say that I you, Kara. I've never. You. I let you live in my house for free. You lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. I let you live in my house for free. Damn. I let you live in my house for mother free when you was disrespecting free? my home security Shit. and telling them that they 
they beneath you and that they better shut up and watch this house because work for you when they work for me same way you talk to people at the label what? same way you talk to the touring person the touring manager which i have every receipt on how you talk to people in group messages that's messed up right i don't give a bro i i, I got i daily I, he's saying that he got receipts of this so look at the instagram and twitter off my I'm phone saying, bro i don't even know receipts, you I, i've been asleep for 17 hours bro i went to sleep at 2 a.m i woke up at 7 p.m sick throwing up i'm throwing up right now I swear to god throwing up right now bro and you on here got me Bro, you got me. That boy, bro. They hurt. couple hours before my birthday, bro. You got me. I ain't never did nothing but be nice. I ain't never did nothing but be there. I ain't never did nothing but love you. Brought you around every rapper, any rapper, bro. Threw on everybody from Baby to Drake to, bro. I put, I get, I, I, I put you on. Stop doing. Come on, bro. I'm completely sober, bro. Y'all, I, I mean, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. We not gonna, we not gonna act like, it, bro. Like, like I'm crazy, bro. I was, you was my best friend, bro. Like, come on, bro. I made sure I gave you this career. What are we talking about? the fuck are we talking about bro not to this mitch situation but here's the part where he talks about mitch i'm talking about some little yachty uh disrespecting his friend in front of key glock i didn't i didn't that i bro i said ah right, you know what i'm gonna give you a platform i'm gonna find someone to sponsor us and i'm gonna give you a platform we're gonna make a podcast and i'm gonna i'm gonna show people how funny you are i'm gonna show people how crazy you are i'm gonna show people like how cool you are and it's gonna give you a platform yeah he helped them you know out. what i'm saying i ain't want to do no mother ass i'm a mother rapper got millions of dollars i don't need to talk to other rappers what the we talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Oh, damn. damn. They put, got three, three, four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. Y'all sitting here talking about something. He disrespecting his friend. And I got, I'm, I, I ain't f***ing with Mitch, bro. I talk, I, I been asleep all day. I wake up to this crazy. Mitch, how the, I say, Mitch, how the f*** you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's we got goddamn six million yeah, that's views on it. Why the f*** you ain't going there and tell them folks we playing? Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how nah, Twitter man. is, bro. Nah, you know that's how fucked Twitter up, dude. is, bro. All right, that damn podcast, nigga. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. Yeah, he made that on a radar freestyle for Caribou. Is that Damn, nigga, that I trust to knock off the dust. With that sack under my arm. And you can see the date is say September 22nd, 2023. This is crazy. I stepped on once. and you ain't flipping once. Got all them guns, put in your name, and you ain't grip them once. You sent them money for some pints, but I ain't shit not one. It's caribou Yo. and altitude, you got in the home of. This is crazy. You got it right for everybody, bro. I'm stuck. I'm stuck up. It's like this one. That's what I'm at. Y'all probably wondering, okay, has anybody responded since Lil Yachty said anything? Mitch actually had something to say, and he tweeted a few things. But he started off with this. He said, all right, let's clear some things up, dot, dot, dot. But more to the story, throughout this tweet, he just saying that please don't let the clip misguide you. It doesn't represent him and Lil Yachty's friendship, and that they joke around a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it could get pretty harsh. And a lot of people feel like he just lying because he want to save his podcast. Because, you know, I know Lil Yachty said, no, cut the podcast. I'm done with that. You know what I'm saying? He not only said that, he made another tweet he said i ain't nobody little bro never been check my history i had stats before i met bro all i ever wanted to do was just focus on the music and being involved in the culture in a positive way i hope none of that hinders that yadi is done with the podcast he's done with caribou he didn't expose everybody and we're here little yadi came on live and said that caribou is disrespectful so basically everything that caribou was saying about little yadi when she had made that tweet or whatever and said that confirming that she was getting by the whole group Lil Yachty is saying that yo that's all wrong Caribou was the one that was the managers and stuff she's the whole team she acted like she was somebody she wasn't she was verbally in the security and that Lil Yachty did everything for her including the on the radar freestyle and writing on her raps that's why she was making songs but now she's not clearly making songs no more because she doesn't have a writer but anyways y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario um it's I ain't gonna lie bro I I gotta, it's so far, it's like, gotta believe Yachty, bro. You got to. He said he got receipts. He done showed some of the, the on the radar receipt. He, he done showed that. And he really sound hurt, bro. He really sound hurt. And I don't know. I could see. 
I don't know. I could see it, and I, I could see Caribou being one of them that could that 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 talk down. I I could I could just see it, bro. But I can't. That's the only thing he didn't he ain't prove none of that. I can't. I don't know who to believe on that. Who was doing the bullying and all that? I don't know who to believe on that. But when it come to the 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 the, the, the um writing shit for dressing up, I, I can believe that. I can believe it. This ain't the first time yeah, didn't did, did this for somebody. I can believe that, bro. But when it come to the bullying, who was like personality? Who was who was fucking up? When it come to that, like feeling like they too big, I don't know who to believe. Ain't show no proof on that yet, but show proof on some shit. Like you, he he most definitely did right for. Her. And then see, she not making music now. She don't got no right. I can believe that, cause it's that's that's adding up. So it's like this whole situation crazy, man. Like. This whole situation crazy, caribou. Not even caribou, bro. She not even caribou. She yadi. Yadi didn't did everything. That's that's crazy, dog. When it come to the mid shit, I I really feel like they was just playing. I feel like that's really, cause it this it partners play like that, bro. Partners play like that. That ain't it. Ain't like it's rare, bro. Like partners get play and go too far sometimes. That shit happen often. That shit happen often. That ain't nothing new, man. But comment down below what y'all think about this situation.